Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode is this cool, amazing part right here. And see, basically what this is is some boards that you can use for food photography. So last time I only got like the board for the double-sided board, and then the brackets that came with it. So these little brackets, you guys can see. But this time I got some more stuff because it's so useful and actually helped me a lot for my food photography when I help different brands take a lot of photos and whatever for their food and also just in general for anything. It doesn't have to be just for food, but if you guys are doing some kind of photography for brands to like showcase their products as well, you guys can definitely use this for those scenarios. But this brand you guys can see they have an amazing bag right here and they fit a lot of different boards right here. So now I just take out some of the boards right here to show you guys which one I have and I'll probably show you guys some samples of like the photos that I took with some of these boards already. So the first one that I want to show you guys right here is double sided board. So this is the marble board right here. And then the other side right here is like a rustic white, if you guys can see. So I've been using the marble side a lot for a lot of different types of like food photography for different brands, for different products and whatever. And actually it's pretty damn amazing. And what makes the board even more worth it is the fact that theirs is actually waterproof. And I believe it's also stain resistant as well. I'm not too sure about that, but so far when I drop like um, oil or some kind of sauce onto the actual uh, product itself, it's really easy for me to just wipe it off. So I'm not too sure if it's stain resistant, but it is waterproof, so that's definitely amazing. Next one that we got right here, this is kind of like a um, wall design, you can see. On the back side, you can see it's double-sided board. This one's more like a concrete design, so you guys want to get that concrete kind of like look to it for your uh, photos, then you guys can use this as well. I actually been using a lot more of this side with the marble um, design together, so it actually looks really, really nice and looks really bright. There's a few more right here that I haven't had the chance to use it, but I'm quite excited to use it. But let me show you guys what it looks like. So you can see this is a one-sided board because this side doesn't have anything. If I flip it on the other side, you can see what this is designed, but let me take it out from the back to show you what it actually looks like. All right. So when we take it out, this is basically what it looks like right here. So very nice kind of design. It looks really real. If you guys can see, you guys definitely get like that kind of like wood kind of design on here. So this one would be definitely really nice for people who want to get that kind of like wood or nature kind of like look to it. But this one, it is a, a one-sided board, if you guys can see. It's quite big as well. This is also waterproof, so you guys don't have to worry about any like stain or water getting onto it. And then the last and final one that we have right here. So as you can see, this is basically what this design looks like. Definitely has a very nice kind of look to it. Um, kind of like a concrete design, but it's not really a concrete design. It actually looks a little bit different and nicer in my opinion. This is also a one-sided board, if you guys can see. A pretty big board, if you guys can see right here, that you guys can actually use for a lot of different stuff in terms of like regular photography for like different brands or products or even food in general. And then this time I got a bag for the actual product itself because I needed a bag to carry so many of these. Even if you guys get one or two, it's always nice to get a bag that you can carry around and have it more organized that way, which is pretty awesome. And for the bag that we got right here, it actually fits a lot of boards like I have like the total of four or five boards here that I can fit into the back and I could probably even fit one more I think the maximum is like six or seven boards maybe more than that if you guys are really careful but it definitely can fit a lot of boards in here so those are all the different boards and the brackets that we got right here I also got one more different product that I wanted to show you guys um, that is kind of like an upgrade compared to this product right here this little bracket basically what it is is the aluminum bracket that's in here the smaller container you guys can see, it's nicely wrapped in everything. If you guys can see, this is basically what it looks like. Very nice design and very nice product. Really high quality compared to what they have right here. So it's definitely like a huge upgrade, if you guys can see. So basically what's different about this one is the material that they use on here, obviously. But then the fact that you guys can actually put four boards on here if you guys want to, instead of like just two boards on here. So let's say for this board right here, if you guys want to put it on, just go like this. Just slide in like that. So you guys have it on right there, you guys can see. That little part right there. And if you guys want, you guys put another one here, another one there. So that way you have four uh, ports all at once if you guys want to. But I think two ports should be enough for you guys to um, do your photography or your photos. But definitely like this a lot because this is actually will help you guys hold the board much better and it's higher quality compared to the plastic one that we have right here. So before we talk more about the product itself, let me show you guys a quick like maybe a few photos that I actually use this board for. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. Right, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the photos that I took on these boards or some of the boards that I used so far. Obviously I haven't used two of them that I just mentioned that I just got. But you can definitely see like the concrete like background, the marble background, um, the rusty white background. 
there's just so many different options on here that you can choose from and it's really high quality. It really looks like a real background that's saw in the photo itself, which is pretty awesome. So this is really useful for people who maybe don't have like that uh, specific background that they want to take like, their food photography on. So like for example, I love the marble color. You guys can see it looks amazing on those photos. And if I want to like change it off every now and then, maybe add like a little bit wooden design to it, or maybe have like a, a rusty white design, or even have the concrete design, you guys can play around and change it up for like different products and different brands to do different type of styles for different like products. But I definitely love these products from uh, Snap It Board. It definitely helps with stepping up my uh, photography game for like food photos when I help like different brands to take photos and everything. So it's definitely a really awesome product. But now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that these are actually really worth it if you guys want one and need one of these. Especially if you guys are working with brands trying to take like better photos, whether it be for food, uh, different products, whatever the case may be that you guys are using these boards for, you guys can definitely use these for, for almost any scenario. And definitely having all these extra accessories will make it a lot better, like the aluminum um, brackets that we have right here, and then the bag that we have to carry the actual board itself. It's definitely gonna be really helpful to have one of these uh, bags to carry around, so it makes it a lot easier to be more organized and you guys know where all your boards is. Especially if you guys are working with like different brands, maybe if you guys need to go to the restaurant to like help them do photos and stuff, now you guys can bring your board uh, along with you guys to help them do the photos and everything. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's much it for quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have... <laughs>